Hey, happy Sunday, y'all. Hey, Chantel. Hey, Cynthia. I'm going to wait for more people to join. Happy Sunday. Let me... Hey, True. Hey, Malaysia. Hey. Hey. Happy, Happy Sunday, y'all. Yes. We wanted to just say hello. We haven't been on live in a minute. Right. We've been, life's been lifing. <laughs> sure has. <laughs> so, um, we just wanted to talk about the weekend's classes. So, of course, yesterday um, we had Coach Rachel who kind of talked about, like, research, market research with your business, especially with the candles. And then she even dug deeper into, like, um, she talked about a couple of marketing things and branding, and it was powerful. It was really good because she had us dig deep into some things. So if you were a part of yesterday's class, let me know. Um, if you signed up for it and didn't get to watch it, the recording is up. I posted it yesterday. So take a look at it. Now, this morning, y'all missed a good class. We learned how to make room sprays with Coach Nick. Sure did. We did. Hi, chameleon. Um, so, and y'all, it was just five step, or not five steps, five ingredient process. So, room sprays. I'm adding because I did get, I think last year or earlier this year, I purchased the, um, what is it like the base? I guess it's it was a it's a polish yeah. floor, one type of base. <clears throat> the room spray base. Yeah, room spray base from Macy, um, but the way that Coach Nikki, hey Nikki, okay, Nikki, you gotta join us. So when Nikki showed us the ingredients, and it's only five ingredients, um, if you're in the class, you know what they are. If you're not in the class, go check out the recording once it's posted. I'll edit it today and post it. Um, and if you're not a part of the university, you need to join because we have over 100 classes, every type of topic you can think of. But the room spray, formula was so easy and nikki even showed us where to go to get the calculator where we can calculate how much we needed of each of those ingredients only five ingredients to um you know if we're back and things like that powerful class. Yep. <clears throat> i'm trying to see if yep. gonna <clears throat> excuse me um yeah it was it, it was great and i know there's hey dc Hey, so I, Keisha. You hey, guys are coming in the room. Yes. So I know. So, oh, Keisha was in class. So I know that um, everyone has their own formula for room sprays, but this one was pretty easy to me. And I like Very it. Very easy. Did because not only was it easy, um, this formula that she put together is one that's going to make the fragrance last a long time. Mm-hmm. So, um, okay, I think she's, I just got her request. So, mm -hmm. again, if y'all do get to class this morning, make sure. Yes. Hey, Nikki. Representing. <laughs> 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 yes. We, you were just talking about your class. Hey, Rashida. Everybody on this morning, come on, stay. I know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> y'all better come on in come here. On, Sunday morning. Um, so, okay, bye, Rashida. So, um, yeah, the weekend classes were great. I was talking about Nikki's room spray. So if y'all missed it, make sure y'all join um, the university if you haven't joined, or if you are a part of the university, you need to watch the recording. What did Keisha mm -hmm. say? that she gave us alternatives if you're concerned about it being clear versus mm -hmm. and Now, tell me, I have a question for y'all um, because I've asked 
people, especially our members, recently about the clear versus cross, and they said that they didn't. Their customers didn't care. So I think, like, I think it's us as makers that care about the cloudy versus clear formula. But a lot of the customers are like we don't care as long as it smells good and it lasts a long time. Mm -hmm. And so another thing with the clear, um, I don't know that the formula is going to, that's a concern because I want it to be strong and I want it to last a long time, linger in the air on room sprays that, you know, once you spray it in like 10 minutes, you can't smell it anymore. So here we go, spraying again. And mm -hmm. I got to this finish because I'm sprayed it. So I want a room spray that's going to last a long time. Um, you know, and so I, you know, I don't think our consumers, what, this thing, what others are saying, they don't really care about it being cloudy. They they're concerned about fragrance. Malaysia made a very good point mm -hmm. that is visually appe appealing with the clear. If you have a clear bottle, then the um, you want it to be clear. Um, but Nikki gave us a good resolution for that in the video replay. So you need to watch the replay to find out how we <laughs> maneuver through that because. <laughs> Seriously, because if you want, because clear is is similar to wax when it's frosting. Yeah. I hate frosting. Yeah. I don't like selling my candles when they're frosting unless I'm doing like a special sale where mm -hmm. these candles are frosting. You're gonna get them as is. But you go to the, the stores and you see other candles, and you're like, these candles are full of frost. Like it's just a big uh -huh. white, <laughs> mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. still sell it. So I think it's it's definitely us. But I do think Malaysia has a great point um with that but for them but again hey uh, unless unless the customer says i want mine to be clear i think it's still us but if you are adamant about yeah. having a clear salute clear base then definitely want to watch the, the the replay to find out how nikki um did hers <clears throat> mm -hmm. gotcha gotcha oh. gotcha <laughs> <laughs> gonna tell y'all here <laughs> right <laughs> Great class, so I look forward to creating it. This formula, so yep, mm -hmm. yeah. I. But tell us in the chat, do y'all prefer clear versus cloudy? Like, does it matter when you're? I I like my to, to me i like it i mean it doesn't to me it doesn't matter if it's if it's cloudy or if it's milky mm -hmm. it doesn't matter because as long as my my fragrance is going to linger then that's mm -hmm. all that matters and it, if you stuck and like we were talking about it this morning if you go to a store and you purchase it and their bottle is not clear you don't know what it looks like inside the bottle yeah. mm -hmm. and to that mm -hmm. I've actually purchased room sprays that are cloudy. Um, you know, they've had clear. Um, but I, you know, I can see where people are saying, you know, the look of it, you know, you want to if you have a clear box, good when it's clear. And, but um, I purchased cloudy too, and it smelled fine, it lasted long. So I think that's my thing. I just want it to last long and linger. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to buy it because it, you know, even though yeah, of course I want something that looks good. But if it's not a good product, it don't and don't it's not if it's clear. You know I mean? <laughs> and I used to be a clear girl. I used to be like, oh, it got to be clear. Yeah. It has to be clear. Yeah. Or found, yeah. I, I gotta find a recipe that lets it be clear. And then it's like, I was like and that. I think more people. I think for customers who know that we make our own products i think when we explain that to them like this is handmade this is handcrafted they know we're using we're, we're using minimal ingredients we're not using a lot of these chemicals and a lot of these things that stabilizers that these other bigger brands use these are five ingredients that we, we've used for this room spray so it's gonna look like this so you're not getting a lot of extras so i think when you use that as a selling point too people are like oh okay so I think it's, it's a matter yeah. of just using that as the, as your selling point as to why it looks like that. But again, it's us. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is. Um, Candle 
million. Can't do million. Mm -hmm. She says, uh, um, we don't care as long as it doesn't stain. I think the perception all is also cloudy contain wait. Also cloudy contains too much oil and will stain. Mm. So maybe that's what people think, yeah. Yeah. Cause I think someone in class this morning, I think it was Cynthia that was talking about like the clear like the alcohol based one. The perfumer, yeah. Hey um Patricia. Mm hmm The perfumer oil and how it probably uh I her, she noticed that it didn't last as long because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was, you know, not only was the formula thinner, but because it was alcohol based, it didn't last as long. Um, so that's my thing, you know. Of course, clear is, is always nice, but if it's not gonna last long, I don't want it, mm -hmm, right? Um, yeah, yeah. And I think so it's, again, it's, guys, it's you up to watch the video mm -hmm. so you when when the replay comes out, make sure you watch that so you can. There's an easy way to fix that. There's a very easy way to fix that, and you're gonna be like, oh, I'll just do it that way. Yeah, almost positive. Get ready for these I'm holidays. Saying, I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure. After you watch the replay, your that whole thing is gonna be. Yeah. Be like, why was, why was I even tripping? Yeah. And you can make it immediately it's not something you got to wait on it's not something you have to test you don't have to say oh well i don't know if this is going to work the recipe is going to work every single time as long as you're picking good quality fragrance oils it's going to work mm -hmm. every single time it's perfect for you to add to your fall lineup to your holiday christmas lineup it is perfect yeah and, and nikki also talked about how if you have fragrance oils sitting around that you know you're not going to use um, or that you're not using for your, you know, your signature collection or whatever, you can always turn those fragrances into room sprays and sell them. It's holiday time. Mm -hmm. Ginger, gift. Ginger Fortune said, as long as my place smells amazing when Bay is about to come over, I don't care what it looks like. And I know hey, that's Patricia. right. Okay. Come on. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes. So... Yeah, a great gifts because Nikki brought up that point. Like, I was like, oh, that would be a good gift for my staff at work. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. yep. like, you know, everybody doesn't burn candles, but who doesn't like a good room spray? You know, you should spray and put it on your, your linens or, your, you know, in your bathroom, yep. in your car. In your we showed the little room sprays, the, uh, the little ones we did for the other class. Yeah. For traveling when you're in the hotel room, because I love my hotel room to smell good, so I'm gonna take it with me. Mm -hmm. so, oh, yeah, 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 they are great gifts. So, another thing we wanted to talk about, um, you know, we're getting closer to our Dallas brunch. So, yes, excited. <laughs> we are excited to see y'all. Um, it's going to be August 27th, so it's two weeks from today. Two weeks exactly from today. Um, so we have some, some great things for you guys. We also um, have a special guest. So Tiana Coates, who is the owner of Winding, am I saying that? Winding Wicks, right? Winding, Winding Wicks. Wicks. And she is also an author. Yes. She will be in the house. So if you are in, and guess what, y'all? It's not. I can't even say if you're in the Dallas area, because I think most people that are coming are not, are not even, even in Texas. Even Dallas, <laughs> they're not even in Dallas. They are outside of Texas. They're flying in. I'm like, what? So that was amazing. So our BCMC BBU brunch in Dallas is going down two weeks. You still have time to get your ticket, but we're gonna have to close it out. I think we just have a few more mm -hmm. spots left, mm -hmm. and we're rocking and rolling. So um, if you're put, going to the brunch already, put I'm gonna I'm gonna steal Nikki's thing. I put a one in the chat if you're already. Yeah. Going. I was like, what's a good way to get people to say or say me or say something? Say <laughs> if you're already going, and if you're not going, you know, and you live in the Dallas, I'm being fluid in. Oh, come oh. on, fluid in. Hello, cousin. <laughs> and if you're not going, um, you know, you and you want to, this is a good opportunity to to look into that you got two weeks if you're in the dallas area 
um, close to it if it's within driving distance. Come on through. We're gonna have a blast. Mm -hmm. Somebody, I know we we have. I don't know if they're in here. I know we have uh, Delash. How do I say it? Delash. This Delta, she's coming in. Miss Lois is coming in from Big Quenched Body. Oh. Big Splash Tub Treats is coming in. We got Edible Gems coming in. We have, um, who else is coming in? Uh, Love Notes, you said, is that? She's coming in. We have, um, we have Jasmine, but Jasmine uh, Candle Company's name is not up yet. Shelly, uh, what's Shelly's company? Pharaoh's or something like Pharaoh. that? Pharaoh. Arrows, yeah, yeah. So she's flying in. So yeah, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna I, be a good time for sure. It's gonna yeah, be a really good time. Yeah, Sweet Treats is coming. I think mm -hmm. everybody that I know in Dallas, they done got their ticket. Every candle maker, every person in Dallas is coming. Um, yeah. so we'll be able to see them. And we have a special event happening right after the brunch. So we're excited about that. And it's not oh, yeah, a, a convention. This is not a convention. This is us getting together right. and meeting with our we, meeting with our right. community, bringing right. it together. But this is also too a precursor to you to see if you've never been to any of our conferences. You get to see how we vibe, how we connect, and it's a good way to meet and connect with people. So when the next um, event happens, you already have your network of people that you've already met with, and it's a good way for our members to um, get to know each other too offline. So. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's a good thing too as far as if you've never been to any of the conferences this, this is a good way to see you know how we do yep. how we do things yeah because one thing I don't I, I, I hate when people say oh I'm going to pick your brain I want to pick your brain I cannot stand that this is the perfect perfect opportunity mm -hmm. to get with like minded people mm -hmm. and ask those questions ask mm -hmm. the questions but well, how did you do this well you sell really good on etsy what did you do how did you like these are the things you can ask tiana you don't have access to her like that to just mm -hmm. be like well how did you get on oprah how did oprah that do this part. and how did you do yeah. you, you don't have those opportunities but this is the perfect opportunity where nobody is going to look at you funny everybody is there to give and to pour into you and for you to to you know to observe to observe and and, and get the knowledge right. that everybody is given because yep. this is this is the perfect opportunity mm -hmm. for you to get that perfect mm -hmm. yeah. opportunity for you to get that information because again people don't just like to give you information especially if you're not doing the work you know what i'm saying but you are going to be in the room with people who are doing it people who um you know are in different levels and are willing to share because they want to see you succeed so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was going to talk about the one I just did, and this was so last minute, but I did one in uh, the DMV. Mm -hmm. So I had to work, and so I just meet some of our members in the DMV. So I got to meet DC and Chandrika and a lot of our other members. Shade was, was there. Yeah. Yes, Shade was there. It was fun. Um, but what I liked the most was they got to connect because you know, they didn't really know who was in the area and who they could, you know, just bond with and talk about the candle space and, you know, talk about their business or whatever. So they got to connect and exchange numbers. And mm -hmm. so I told them, okay, y'all need to start getting together and having brunches and just, you know, right. meet up and talk about these things and get bounce ideas off each other and so forth. So that Oh yeah, Malaysia, yeah. Manifestasia. You met Manifestasia. Yes. I had well Malaysia didn't get to meet come to brunch, but I got to go to dinner with Malaysia and it was awesome. I had a great time meeting everyone. So everybody was just so welcoming and, and so nice and just wanted, you know, wanted that connection, wanted to bond. So they were excited about meeting each other. And so they're going to carry the torch and just start you know meeting up mm -hmm. and just having that you know that mentorship and and all of that so right great time y'all this is a great time so if you're in dallas or even outside and you can just you know if you want to just do a mini trip and just come come on you got somebody mm -hmm. passes no <laughs> yeah. On the yeah yes <laughs> So that was it, y'all. We just wanted to kind of um, catch up. We hadn't been on live in a minute. So um, we wanted to talk about this weekend's classes, 
Nikki's wonderful room spray class and her recipes. Yes. Um, talk, talk about the next event coming up in Dallas. So we hope you guys have. Oh, someone's asking when is this? It's going to be August 27th. And which is Dallas. Weeks in Dallas, Texas. And so um, if you go to our bio section for Black Candle Makers Club and hit on the link, link tree, the event is at the top. So you can click on it and that's the link where you can go and register. So it's going to um, be so much fun, you guys. Like if you've been to any of the BCMC um, events, you have a good taste of what we do and then with us merging with our bbu members which i'm very very excited about because most of them i've only seen online so i want i can't wait to meet in the them morning <laughs> yeah. in person so this is this is a to me an extra special treat because we get to branch the two together as far as merge the two together not branch but merge mm -hmm. two together and it's gonna be a good time yeah. yes someone is asking and someone says is there any plans coming to new york and new jersey this year we did new york and new jersey <laughs> yeah we did november our, we did our second event was um in jersey yeah we had jersey last what november so, november yeah. Yeah, last, so no plans this year um maybe next year but um but i'm always in jersey our calendar is getting full <laughs> right yeah. and we have a new place that we can do an event because one of um one of my bbu members she just opened up a shop in is it merchantville new jersey okay beautiful place so we have a place to yes to, okay. to go visit and hold an event there yes That's it's a right. milly little thing yeah so maybe we'll do a a, a jersey remix we'll right come back right We'll do a Jersey remix because I'm always in Jersey. I love the East Coast, so I'm on families there. So, yeah, we can do another, um, a, like a Jersey pop up or something like that. So, yeah, yeah, that would be cool. I have no problem with that. that would be nice. So, yeah, yeah, look out, be on the lookout. But the next one's going to be the Midwest Conference, mm -hmm. um, and I, I think we narrowed it down to Ohio. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think I think mm -hmm. we I think we're gonna go with Ohio. Mm -hmm. but we decided to do um, uh, Ohio instead because there's a lot of uh, vendors out there that we want to partner with. So look out for that. That that should be next summer. Um, we're hoping, but we'll get the date out to you guys so people can start planning and getting things together. And then don't forget, we're doing our convention in Houston in 2025. So that's coming. Save the date. When we get that, we'll start sharing that out. I know we've got requests for like coming to New Orleans. People are asking to come to Florida. Um, we definitely got to do like Miami yeah. or Fort Lauderdale. We meet up. <laughs> so yeah, so we've got a list going, guys. So if you have any ideas or places you'd like us to come, just put in chat. Anybody in Jamaica that would like us to come out there? Oh, Jamaica will be fun. <laughs> Bye, Sade Collection says she's in Jersey too. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, so we'll we'll have because we did Jersey last November, so we'll we'll put Jersey back in the in the rotation. We sure will. Mm -hmm. And we'll make Jersey. We'll make Jersey like a convention, like we did in um in, in LA. LA. Yeah. So, so yep. Because we already working. we already did we did the cool kickback for Jersey. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that was like the the meet and greet, but this time we'll do like an actual conference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, we are. All right, y'all. So thank y'all for joining yes. us on this yes. live. And we hope to see you guys in Dallas. If not, yes. and if you haven't joined the Facebook group, make sure you're over there. A um, lot of lot of stuff, good stuff in there. Oh, one more thing I forgot. This is it. Th when's the seventeenth? Uh, this Thursday, Thursday is BCMC's three year anniversary. Ooh. So I'm thinking. I'm still thinking, but I'll post it probably tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm thinking of doing like a pop up raffle. 
I'm thinking I'm going to do a pop-up raffle. Um, we'll do it live in the Facebook group. And I'm still thinking of the logistics of how to do it. Like maybe have people just like maybe put the link up and people can just put their name in the link. And then we maybe we'll just do like a live raffle of things that we can send out, send you guys. Cause I have a lot of like, you know, little gifts and prizes I can give away and stuff like that from different vendors. So we'll probably do that. So tune in, make sure you join the Facebook group. We'll just go lots, you know, stream live from our zoom into Facebook and we'll do a pop-up raffle. For our, for our third birthday. Put it on there. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Look, look, I didn't even tell the team that one. I forgot about it. She sure didn't. And you see how we just on board with her we like we knew from the whole beginning? We was like, yup, raffle, clap it up. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say nothing to us. <laughs> <laughs> like yep mm -hmm. we got a raffle coming yes we do on the 17th yes <laughs> yep <laughs> it's for sure happening on the 17th did you did you know be there you no know, but yeah we do now we just roll with it, it's a, it's a, we do. We she popped up it. on us too <laughs> we just roll with it <laughs> <laughs> yep. She said not a word. She sure did not. Not a word. We were, we're not meeting about this after this live. We're we're gonna be meeting we did. About we this. were not <laughs> pressed. We been on the phone all morning. I ain't said not one word about this. nothing. Nada. I'm Freaking. sorry. My, my days is running together. I just can't. I'm like, exactly, <laughs> Ginger Fortune. If we don't know now, we know now. Yeah. And we know. If you don't know, now you now know. You know. <laughs> so, Note it. All right, duly, now. duly noted. it. Yes. So I'll be, actually, I'll create the ad and I'll post it today that we're going to do a live. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Yes. We always gotta celebrate. Uh, three years. We've grown so much in three years. Yeah. You you won't even know you know, you just gonna enter the raffle and I'll just be up there raffling stuff off. It's okay. You got there you go. that's all. You got Tree said, Now we know. Been on the phone for four hours and not <laughs> now word. She said, Nan. She went Nan on you. She said, Now Nan word was said. I know that's right. I Nan. 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 But um, thank y'all. Bye. Bye. Happy Sunday, y'all. <laughs>